Great news, my fellow Marvel nerds, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is far from stopping its further expansion. This time, the members of S.W.O.R.D. will be on their way to Disney+, Plus. here's everything you need to know. Prepare for a reality-shattering revelation just when you thought that Marvel's new TV program, spin-off which stars Elizabeth Olsen and a revived Paul Bettany, could not possibly contain any more Easter eggs to tantalize audiences with. Comic book fans have been anxiously waiting signals as to how and when the MCU will officially incorporate an organization known as S.W.O.R.D. into its chronology for years. Recent promotional materials' subtle hints suggest that WandaVision is where it may do so. The initial full-length teaser dropped a subtle cue that WandaVision would draw inspiration from the legendary House of M Marvel Comics event from 2005, which was picked up on by astute fans. Just enough hints were given in the same TV spot and leaked behind-the-scenes photos with its logo to imply a sword might also be engaged in the plot. The details of its involvement and the implications of its newly discovered inclusion in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the franchise's future remain a big question. SWORD, which stands for Sentient World Observation Response Department, is more specifically described as a counterterrorism and intelligence organization that specializes in keeping an eye on suspicious extraterrestrial activity to ensure global protection, somewhat akin to Marvel's own Men in Black, which ironically is also a property of the comic book publisher. The organization was really created for you to smash that like button and ring that notification bell. Jokes aside, the organization was really created by Joss Whedon, who also co-created Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with artist John Cassidy and wrote and directed the first two Avengers films. It originally appeared in the September 2004 issue of Astonishing X-Men. Stay out of my home. You don't bother me. I won't bother you. I wish it could be that simple. S.W.O.R.D. is rumored to have been ready to be established in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the most logical assumption was that S.W.O.R.D. was involved because Nick Fury and Maria Hill were shown collaborating with Skrulls to form an unnamed organization in Spider-Man, far from home's post credit scene. Among all of them, I think this theory appears to have received the most unexpected confirmation. Tiona Paris' adult Monica Rambeau was first glimpsed in set images for WandaVision when she was pictured in front of a structure with a S.W.O.R.D. emblem. Given that Rambu has a sword insignia on an ID badge that is attached to her chest, it appears that she's a sword agent herself. Sword is an agency that primarily deals with aliens, so it's unclear why they would be linked with Wanda Maximoff. Yet it appears as though they're set to become a reality in the MCU. But before anything else, let's go to know more about Sword from the comics a little bit better. Sword, created by Joss Whedon for his run on the Astonishing X Men, gives Shield a Boy Scout to look. S.W.O.R.D. is primarily focused on alien issues, whereas S.H.I.E.L.D. is responsible for monitoring and resolving domestic threats. Their presence is a closely kept secret, and they go by the title Sentient World Observation and Response Department in official documents. They work covertly, keeping an eye out for threats on every known populated world and advocating for Earth's interests in interstellar negotiations. They tend not to be excessively concerned with moral issues, but instead adopt a pragmatic approach because they deal with innumerable races who could easily kill Earth. They resemble the Boy Scouts, as one of their spies remarked about Nick Fury's shield. Commander Abigail Brand, a woman of mixed ancestry with a mutant gene, is normally in charge of S.W.O.R.D. She runs a tight ship and has strategically positioned key agents in any superhero team she suspects of getting entangled in extraterrestrial issues. Lockheed, Kitty Prize's dragon, and a member of S.W.O.R.D. keeps an eye on the X-Actions, men's, and reports back to Brand when needed. They have an especially hostile relationship with the X-Men, but it gradually gets better after Bran starts dating Henry McCoy called Beast. My entire life, there's no use hiding, we'll always find you. This is the end of the road. Since the Marvel Universe was recreated in 2015's Secret Wars, S.W.O.R.D. has not appeared in any publications. The contemporary analog appears to be Captain Marvel's Alpha Flight Space Program, headquartered in a space station above S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Tris Kellyon and led by Abigail Brand, a subordinate of Carol Danvers. S.W.O.R.D. and Alpha Flight work significantly different, with Danvers using important superheroes' resources to fight on the front lines of an intergalactic conflict. Now you ask who are the main members of S.W.O.R.D. in the comics? Well, for you non-S.W.O.R.D. fans, you'd be glad to know that the protagonist in these comics is actually a woman. Abigail Brand is the main S.W.O.R.D. agent in the comics. She was picked for a position due to her extensive understanding of galactic politics, but it doesn't appear that the United Nations was aware that she's truly a mutant. 
This has occasionally resulted in her discreetly breaking the law for the X-Men, and she has even occasionally acted as Cyclops' informant, leaking sensitive information she believed he needed to know. Lockheed, a diminutive alien dragon who frequently associates with Kitty Pride and the Beast of the X-Men, were two of Abigail Brand's closest allies, aliens from the planet Dranks, Sidron served as Brand's tactical advisor. He's a reasonably powerful telepath, yet he frequently states that glaringly obvious. Kiel Richt, a Skrull research officer who defected and helped defend Earth as a terrifying race known as the Builders, devastated the galaxy. It was another important asset. Moreover, Jessica Drew, aka Spider Woman, was Brand's convenient mole inside the Avengers. Naturally, the MCU's interpretation of S.W.O.R.D. would combine the superhero group with Captain Marvel's Alpha Flight space program, given their shared past. Nick Fury and Carol Danvers, some well-known superheroes are on this squad, including the small puck, the energy-controlling Aurora, and a scientist by the name of Bigfoot who can transform into a behemoth. You trusted me to help deliver your babies. On some level, Wanda, you know I am an ally. Given his friendship with Captain Marvel, War Machine is the ideal choice to act as the go-between, the Alpha Flight, and the military. The MCU's version of S.W.O.R.D. is a little bit different than the one in the comics. Leaked merchandise has suggested that the MCU version of S.W.O.R.D. may employ a different strategy than the comic book version, which deals with threats from space. You see, the WandaVision version of S.W.O.R.D. is known as Sentient Weapon Observation and Reaction Division, whereas the name of the comic book version is Sentient World Observation and Response Division. To put it another way, they might no longer be dealing with aliens and we have to wonder if they would regard Wanda and Vision as sentient weapons, which could indicate that the organization is responsible for their enigmatic captivity. Personally, seeing Marvel adapt S.W.O.R.D. for the MCU will be fascinating. One significant distinction is that S.W.O.R.D. and S.H.I.E.L.D. have hit that subscribe button and rang that notification bell, but no seriously, they've completed different missions in the comics because they coexist at the same time as S.H.I.E.L.D. But in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, S.H.I.E.L.D. has been disbanded since the events of Captain America the Winter Soldier when it became public knowledge that HYDRA had compromised them. It's true that they've remained in some capacity on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but the canonicity of that is much in doubt, especially in light of recent reports about Marvel's television's impending closure. It's possible that S.W.O.R.D. in the MCU has a broader focus that includes both domestic and cosmological challenges. That would neatly explain why Monica Rambeau, who's ostensibly a sword agent in the MCU, is serving as the Scarlet Witch's point of contact, although in actuality, only time will tell. While waiting for your favorite sword members to come and save you from the next intergalactic invasion, here are a few other videos you might like.